Hello students. So today we are going to discuss about a very important reaction and a rule which is called as dehydrohalogenation of alkyl halides with ZZF or ZZF rule. Okay. Now the very first thing, सबसे पहले हमें ये जानना होगा कि what is exactly dehydrohalogenation. तो एक example लेते हैं. Let's suppose आपके पास एक alkyl halide है and you are treating this with KOH. In alcoholic condition. Please remember, यहाँ पे because हमें dehydrohalogenation करना है मतलब you need to remove hydrogen and halogen both. You need to undergo a process of elimination. You would require KOH which is alcoholic in nature. If you take the same KOH which is aqueous, it would carry out a substitution reaction. तो हमें substitution नहीं करना. हमें एलिमिनेशन करना है एंड एलिमिनेशन के लिए अल्कोहलिक कंडीशंस नेसेसरी है इसका ध्यान रखना सो आई हैव टेकन एन अल्काइल अलाइट उसके साथ साथ आई हैव टेकन केओएच इन अल्कोहलिक कंडीशंस अब होगा क्या सबसे पहले एच एंड ओएच अच्छा एच कौन से कार्बन से सो द कार्बन व्हिच इज कनेक्टेड टू एडजेसेंट कार्बन हैविंग हैलोजन ओके एच एंड ओएच विल कंबाइन टू गिव यू वाटर Along with this, what you would get K and X will combine to give you KX, and up to us, but Jaya C double bond C that is a corresponding alkene. ये है basic reaction that is dehydrohalogenation का. एक example लेके देखते हैं. Let's suppose आपके पास है ethyl chloride या chloroethane. Now in chloroethane again you are adding KOH in alcoholic conditions and you are heating it. What will happen then? Again. Instead of writing CH3, we can write it as CH2H. So this H of the first carbon atom and OH of KOH will combine to give you water. Cl and K will combine to give you KCl. And आपके पास क्या बचेगा? You will be left out with CH2 double bond CH2. So over here, two important things. अगर elimination करना है तो alcoholic condition point number one. Point number two, if you want uh, elimination or sorry after elimination. You would always land up to an unsaturated compound. मतलब पहले आपके पास जो compound था वो एक saturated compound था, single bond था. अब वो एक double bonded compound बन चुका है. Okay. एक और example लेके देखते हैं. Let's suppose you have an example something like this. That is propyl iodide. Now over here it's actually two propyl iodide or two iodopropane. इसमें क्या होगा? Once again you are treating it with KOH in the presence of alcoholic condition. So what is going to happen? तो देखो. Alpha carbon, that is the hero carbon, contains your iodine group or the substituent. Okay. अच्छा उसके बाजू में जो दो कार्बन हैं, let's say beta and beta dash. Right now, both of these carbons they are same or both of these groups, I would say they are symmetrical, CH3 groups, identical groups. So therefore, it doesn't matter as to from where do you remove the hydrogen. तो हम लोग मान लेते हैं कि हम लोग ने beta कार्बन में से हाइड्रोजन निकाल दिए. So what you will get? Let's see. From beta carbon, we are removing H and OH of KOH, giving you water. Plus, iodine and K will combine to give you Ki. And now, what you would be getting is CH3, CH double bond CH2. That is a corresponding alkene, which is propylene or propene. ठीक है? एक और example लेते हैं. And here we will apply our Sedgev rule. Check करना ध्यान से. Over here. I have a compound which is secondary butyl bromide, yeah, two bromo butane. To two bromo butane, again, what I'm adding, I'm adding KOH in alcoholic conditions and heating it. होगा क्या? तो Br तो जाएगा, है ना? Second carbon से Br जाएगा, मतलब alpha carbon से. But then beta and beta dash over here, these two carbons, they are not identical. मतलब यहाँ पे आपको दो products मिलने के chances हैं. What would be happening? Let's see. Now over here, if you say that man let the ki beta carbon se hydrogen nikla, so what will happen? Dekhte. So beta carbon ka hydrogen and OH will combine to give you water. K and Br will combine to give you KBr, and finally you would be landing up with an alkene which is but two in. But then, agar beta dash carbon se hydrogen nikla, if your elimination of hydrogen Occurs from beta dash carbon. Now what will happen? Now again the same thing will happen. H and OH will combine to give you water. K and Br will combine to give you KBr. But this time you will not get butene. 
you will get but one in. Now the question comes as to which compound is major and which compound is minor. So this understanding or this question is solved by a rule called as Sedzev rule. Now, what does Sedzev rule say? Chalo, wo bhi dekhte hai. Bohut simple sa rule hai. And very, very, you can say, interesting rule. Over here, what does Sedzev rule say is, in an elimination reaction, the preferred alkene is that which has greater number of alkyl groups attached to the doubly bonded carbon atoms. Meaning, more substituted alkene. Hey, it's got meaning. Jante. Okay, let's let's try to understand the meaning of this. Okay, look at the first compound over here. You have C double bond C. Now, a carbon is connected to CH3 and we carbon is connected to H. So CH, CH3, double bond, CH, CH3. Ye pehla carbon, ya pehla compound ho gaya, but to in wala. Okay, if you look at the second compound, just check. In the second compound, again, you have C double bond C. The first carbon, or rather I would say the second carbon is connected to C2H5H double bond CH2. Now comes a question over here that pehla wala compound jo hai, wo ban jayega major and second wala compound jo hai, wo ban jayega minor. Why is that so? Because if you notice, jo aapka first compound hai, just check over here my dear students. So the first compound, let me mark it for a different color. The first compound is connected with two alkyl groups, one CH3 and another CH3. So how many alkyl groups are there? Two alkyl groups. Hai. But here, one alkyl group is C2H5. And ZSF rule, kya bolte hai? ZSF rule says that you would get an alkene in such a way where the alkene is more substituted. Matlab, aapko zyada substitution chahiye. So if you have more substitution, that alkene would be the major product. If you have less substitution, that alkene would be the minor product. So over here, kam substitution kis mein? But one in mein. More substitution kis mein? But two in mein. So therefore, but two in becomes the major product and but one in becomes the minor product. So this was all about Zetsef rule and dehydrohalogenation. I hope you must have understood the reaction pretty well. Please go through a few more examples of dehydrohalogenation and Hear me out, Sedzev rule would be a very, very important rule that you would be needing for deciding the major and minor components of your reaction. For now, we'll stop over here. We'll meet in the next module with some new reactions and with some new mechanisms. Till then, thank you students and happy learning.